Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2023. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Proverbs 19 through 21 and 2 Corinthians 7. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. On life and conduct. Proverbs 19. Better a poor person who walks in his integrity than a person who is perverse in speech and is a fool. Also, it is not good for a person to be without knowledge, and one who hurries his footsteps errors. The foolishness of a person's ruin his way, and his heart rages against the Lord. Well, adds many friends, but a poor person is separated from his friends. A false witness will not go unpunished, and one, one who declares lies will not escape. Many will seek the favor of a generous person, and every person is a friend to him who gives gifts. All the brothers of a poor person hate him. How much more do his friends abandon him? He pursues them with words, but they are gone. One who gets wisdom loves his own soul. One who keeps understanding will find good. A false witness will not go unpunished, and one who declares lies will perish. Luxury is not fitting for a fool, much less for a slave to rule over princes. A person's desertion makes him slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. A king's wrath is like the roaring of a lion, but his favor is like dew on the grass. A foolish son is destruction to his father, and a quarrels, uh, the quarrels of a wife are a constant dripping. House and wealth are an inheritance from fathers. But a prudent wife is from the Lord. Laziness casts one into a deep sleep, and a lazy person will suffer hunger. One who keeps the commandments keeps his soul, but one who is careless of conduct will die. One who is gracious to a poor person lends to the Lord. And he will repay him for his good deed. Discipline your son while there is hope, and do not desire his death. A person of great anger will suffer the penalty, for if you rescue him, you will only have to do it again. Listen to advice and accept discipline so that you may be wise the rest of your days. Many plans are in a person's heart, but the advice of the Lord will stand. What is desirable in a person is his kindness, and it is better to be a poor person than a liar. The fear of the Lord leads to life, so that one may sleep satisfied, untouched by evil. 
the lazy one bruises his hand in the dish, but will not even bring it back to his mouth. Strike a scoffer, and the naive may become clever, but rebuke one who has understanding, and he will gain knowledge. He who assaults his father and drives his mother away is a shameful and disgraceful son. Stop listening, my son, to discipline, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. A worthless witness makes a mockery of justice, and the mouth of the wicked swallows wrongdoing. Judgments are prepared for scoffers and beatings for the backs of fools. On Life and Conduct Proverbs 20 Wine is a mocker, intoxicating drink, a brawler, and Whoever is intoxicated by it is not wise. The terror of a king is like the roaring of a lion. One who provokes him to anger forfeits his own life. Avoiding strife is an honor for a person, but any fool will quarrel. The lazy one does not plow after the autumn, so he begs during the harvest and has nothing. A plan in the heart of a person is like deep water, but a person of understanding draws it out. Many a person proclaims his own loyalty, but who can find a trustworthy person? A righteous person who walks in his integrity how blessed are his sons after him. A king, a king who sits on the throne of justice despises all evil with his eyes. Try that again. Proverbs 28 A king who sits on the throne of justice disperses all evil with his eyes. Who can say, I have cleansed my heart, I am pure from my sin. Differing weights and differing measures, both of them are abominable to the Lord. It is by his deeds that a boy distinguishes himself. If his conduct is pure and right, the hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made both of them. Do not love sleep, or you will become poor. Open your eyes, and you will be satisfied with food. Bad, bad, says the buyer, but when he goes his way, then he boasts. There is gold and an abundance of jewels, but lips of knowledge are more precious than things. Take his garment when he becomes a garniture for a stranger, for and for foreigners seize a pledge from him. Breed obtained bread obtained by a lie is sweet to a person but afterward his mouth will be filled with gravel prepare plans by consultation and make war by wise guidance one who goes about as a slanderer reveals secrets and therefore do not associate with a gossip, 
he who curses his father or his mother, his lamp will go out in times of darkness. An inheritance gained in a hurry at the beginning will not be blessed in the end. Do not say, I will pray pay, repay evil. Wait for the Lord, and he will save you. Differing weights are an abomination to the Lord, and a false scale is not good. A man's steps are ordained by the Lord. How, then, can a person understand his way? It is a trap for a person to say carelessly it is holy and after the vows to make inquiry a wise king scatters the wicked and drives a thrashing wheel over them the spirit of a person is the lamp of the lord searching all the innermost parts of his being Loyalty and truth watch over the king, and he upholds his throne by loyalty. The glory of young men is their strength, and the honor of old men is their gray hair. Bruising wounds clean away evil, and blows cleanse, and blows cleanse the innermost parts on life and conduct proverbs 21 the king's heart is like channels of water in the hand of the lord he turns it whenever he pleases and every person's way is right in his own eyes but the Lord examines the heart. To do righteousness and justice is preferred by the Lord more than sacrifice. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, is sin. The plans of the diligent certainly lead to advantage, but everyone who is in a hurry certainly comes to poverty. The acquisition of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor, the pursuit of death. The violence of the wicked will sweep them away because they refuse to act with justice. The way of a guilty person is crooked, but as for the pure, his conduct is upright. It is better to live on a corner of a roof than to in a house shared with a contentious woman. The soul of the wicked desires evil. His neighbor is shown no compassion in his eyes. When the scoffer is punished, the naive become wise, but when the wise is instructed, he receives knowledge. The righteous one considers the house of the wicked, bringing the wicked to ruin. One who shuts his ears to the outcry of the poor will also call out himself and not be answered. A gift in secret subdues anger, and a bribe in an inside pocket strong wrath. The exercise of justice is joy for the righteous, but terror to those who participate or practice injustice. A person who wanders from the way of understanding will rest in the assembly of the dead. One who loves pleasure will become a poor person, 
one who loves wine and oil will not become rich. The wicked is a ransom for the righteous, and the treacherous is in the place of the upright. It is better to live in a desert land than with a contentious and irritating woman. There is precious treasures and oil in the home of the wise, but a foolish person swallows it up. One who pursues righteousness and loyalty finds life, righteousness, and honor. A wise person scales the city of the mighty and brings down the stronghold in which they trust. One who guards his mouth and his tongue guards his soul from troubles. Proud, arrogant, scoffer are his names. One who acts with insolent pride. The desires of the lazy one puts him to death, for his hands refuse to work. All day long he is craving, while the righteous gives and does not hold back. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination. How much more will when he brings it with evil intent? A false witness will perish, but a person whose listens will speak forever. A wicked person displays a bold face, but as for the upright, he makes his way sure. There is no wisdom, no understanding, and no plan against the Lord. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but the victory belongs to the Lord. And that was Proverbs 19 through 21. Now we will be turning to 2 Corinthians 7. Paul reveals his heart. 2 Corinthians 7. Therefore, having these promises, beloved, let's cleanse ourselves from all defilement of the flesh and the spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Make room for us in your hearts. We have wronged no one. We corrupted no one. We have taken advantage of no one. I do not speak to condemn you, for I have said before that you are in our hearts to die together and to live together. My confidence in you is great. My boasting in your behalf is great. I am filled with comfort. I am overflowing with joy in all our afflictions. For even when we came into Macedonia, our flesh had no rest, but we were afflicted on every side, conflicts on the outside, fears inside, but God who comforts the discouraged comforted us by the arrival of Titus, and not only by his arrival, but also by the comfort with which he was comforted among you, as he reported to us your longing, your mourning, your zeal for me, and so that I rejoiced even more. For though I caused you sorrow by my letters, I do not regret it though I did regret it, for I see that the letters caused you sorrow through only 
for a while. I now rejoice now that you were made sorrowful, but that you were made sorrowful to the point of repentance. For you were made sorrowful according to the will of God, so that you might not suffer loss in anything through us. For the sorrow that is according to the will of God produces a repentance without regret, leading to salvation. But the sorrow of the word, but the sorrow of the world produces death. For behold, what earnestness this very thing, the godly sorrows, has produced in you. What vindication of yourselves, what indignation, what fear, what longing, what zeal, what punishment of wrong in everything you demonstrated yourselves to be innocent in the matter. So although I wrote to you, it was not for the sake of the offender, nor the sake of the one who offended, but that your earnestness in our behalf might be made known to you in the sight of God. Because of this, we have been comforted. And, besides our comfort, we rejoiced even much more for the joy of Titus, because his spirit has been refreshed by all of you. For, if I have boasted to him about you regarding anything, I was not put to shame. But as we spoke all things to you in truth, so also our boasting before Titus proved to be the truth. His affliction abounds all the more towards you, as he remembers the ob obstinance of you all. I'm sorry. As he remembers the obedience of you all, how you received him with fear and trembling. I rejoice in that in everything I have confidence in you. And that was Second Corinthians 7, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Proverbs 22 through 24 in Second Corinthians 8. Father, I just thank you for your word. Because if it were not for your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning in to the Bible with Briscoe 2023 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being the messenger of the word of God. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us tomorrow, because, well, God willing, we will be here. And we hope that you are. Two. Please like and share.